that 10 degree difference from 50 below to 40 below means everything, from not going to going. I just gotta heat up the snow machine so I can even pull it <laughs> to start it. When you live out here, you gotta, you gotta use your head and make with what resources you have, you gotta make do. So I put the, the can there with the, with the stove. It's funneled into under the hood of the snow machine to warm up the snow machine. I got it leaning against the muffler piece there so it doesn't, you know, that can stay hot. And then I, I put these shovels right here. And then I put one right here. And this, and this pl plastic tarp comes over and the shovels guard the tarp from hitting the can and, and then melting it. It's all covered now. Give it about one, uh, one hour and it'll, it'll be warm enough to start. You know, when people come up here, they'll say, God, God, if it could only w warm up to 40 below, you know? <laughs> In these towns around here, if it's 50 below, st school is still going. You know, kids are still, still going to school, you know? Whereas down there, if it was 50 below, everything would be shut down. So, I mean, up here, that's just the way of life. So this would be like someone that has to go to work in the city, warming up their car. And this is just one thing. So what, uh, what other option I got? None. And I mean, I'm not gonna drive the snow machine in the house. I, I did that one time, one year, and Edna did not like that. <laughs> so once was good enough for her, never again. The whole house smelled like exhaust for a week. <laughs> I leave it 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I let it warm a long time. 